Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very similar to my advent calendar series videos. I know you guys really, really liked it. So I kind of want to talk about advent calendars in a January sale kind of vibe. So <laughs> let's start off with uh, this one. So we definitely have seen this one before, but, 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 but I have another little scandal. Yes, I do. As we all know, Technique or Technic Makeup had their advent calendar and it was £25 and Matalan had their advent calendar and it was 10 to £12 but the products inside were exactly the same so companies were charging like different prices for the same products mental so i actually bought this like a few weeks ago i think in december and it cost me 20 pounds so i did look at the uh, insides and it does look exactly the same like the label just shows it right here i'm kind of hoping that it's got more of a different vibe maybe like a pink vibe hopefully to represent pretty little thing oh i forgot to say yeah this is from pretty little thing so before i actually open up this calendar i just want to talk about a comment that technique or technic makeup left on my video so they tried justifying the whole thing they said something like using the same supplier but i, I don't know like they tried justifying it but if you're claiming it to be your makeup it kind of isn't your makeup if other brands, or I don't know, other people can buy the exact same product and the exact same packaging. It just made me chuckle because it, it was like they were digging a massive hole. Like, they may as well be in Australia right now because that hole is pretty deep. Now this one was £20 and it's now been reduced to £10. The Matalan one was reduced to £5 and the Technique one was reduced to, I want to say, like £10 or 15 Let me just check my notes. I can't read my writing. Yeah, so it went to £24 to £12 for Superdrug. Madeline was £10 to £5. And Pretty Little Thing was £20 to £10. So this little ball ranged from £5 to £24. I really hope they sold out for 2018 because I was not impressed. Okay, I'm actually gonna see what's inside. Uh, I may give up halfway through if it's exactly the same. But let's just hope it's a different color inside. Okay, day number one, we just have, again, it's really hard to get out. I'm not even gonna bother trying getting it out, but it's just the little sequin gems. Day number two, it's gonna be the rubbish applicator, isn't it? Oh no, oh no, tell a lie, it's a lip gloss. There we go, we just have a pink one. Day number three. Oh yay, I love a good nail file. Load of crap. Day number four. Okay, so we definitely have the same eyeshadow color here, which is the champagne one. Yeah, exactly the same. Day number five, we have the plum lipstick, which is a very nice shade. Day number six. So in this store, we have the gray eyeshadow, which again is a very nice shade. Day number seven. So in this store, we have the famous brush. Let's do the bristle test. Oh my gosh, that's worse than the others. Day number eight. Oh, I think this is actually a different color. So day number eight, we have a gold nail varnish. Now I actually don't think this was in the other two. I think it was a purple and another color. So we, this is new. We actually have a different color. Day number nine. Ah, so in day number nine, it was the um, eyeliner that I accidentally opened up previously. So day number nine is an eyeliner. Day number 10. Okay, so my day number 10 has gone into the middle of the advent calendar. I'm gonna have to see if I can fish it out. Oh my, this is actually really pretty. So we actually have a pink nail varnish. So it kind of suits pretty little thing, doesn't it? But it's a different color. So the nail varnishes so far are different. Okay, so day number 11, we just have the uh, ready lip gloss. Day number 12. So in this store, we just have the nice plummy eyeshadow color. This is actually like a really nice color. I'd have to say it's probably one of my favorite eyeshadows throughout the whole of the advent calendar series. Day number 13. So in day number 13, we just have the red lipstick. Day number 14. So this store just has the sharpener in it. Day number 15. So day number 15 has that lavender gray color, 
that I've been going on about. So it's exactly the same again. Day number 16. So day number 16 is the red lip liner. Day number 17 is just, <gasps> no way. That is dreadful. Day number 18. So this door has the plummy lip gloss. Day number 19. Okay, so for some reason, this advent calendar has completely come apart. So I'm just gonna like rip it open and just show you the rest. So things we have left are some more little gems, the golden bronze eyeshadow, the khaki green gray eyeshadow, the pink eyeshadow and applicator and the brown eyeliner there so this advent calendar is completely the same except from the nail varnishes so they managed to only change two nail varnishes so the price of this advent calendar just baffles me i mean i bought it for 20 pounds when it wasn't in the sale so it's for 10 pounds now but for 20 i so would have bought like the tanya burr one instead which was 30 pounds but it was much better stuff than the technique pretty little thing advent calendar I just think that for 2018 they seriously need to think about it you know people love advent calendars so let's talk about January sales so on on Superdrug they still do have um, advent calendars on sale so they have the Tanya Burr advent calendar which is $4.99 by the way oh my god $4.99 it was $35 at one point or $30 wow so Boots actually also have a few available so they have the uh, Laura Ashley one is £20, so that's half price. The Zoella one is £25, so that's half price as well. Um, also, the Bare Minerals one is reduced from £75 to £25, which, no, no, wait, it's £75 reduced to £49.99, which is, I don't know, I reckon they should have gone low on that one. They've also got, uh, oh, Liz Earl, no, Liz Earl just sold out. So there is a few still on the internet i also went on house fraser and john lewis and there were still some on there as well for really good prices so actually holding out to january if you can't afford an advent calendar it's actually worth wait into january I just can't believe that the tanya burr one is 4.99 i should have held off there we go guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you guys want me to show you some january sales advent calendars that i bought drop me a comment down below i have really enjoyed doing this series i have started a new series which is like a january sales uh unboxing video series so i hope you guys have been enjoying that but don't you worry i am definitely coming back like very as soon as possible for 2018 advent calendar thing again i just i just loved it it was it was so much fun doing it and thank you so much for all of your support don't forget to follow me on all my social media sites links all down in the description but as always guys just make sure that you link like and subscribe and i'll see you next time for another video